What did you make of the initial rollout? Well, it's very exciting to have another big player in the mix. Uh, as I'm sure many folks know, Waymo has been active in the market for at least 20 months with commercial service. Driverless cars are here. Definitely a magical experience. It just was just smooth, it just works. This is crazy, like, I heard about this when I was a kid, but like, it's here now. How will we see the rollout in Austin be picked up by other cities? What is pressure is it putting on others in terms of their regulatory environment? But the public is still divided. I couldn't trust, I wouldn't trust it. I just kind of believe that the car should be driven by a person. I can't imagine a car driving off the bridge, then navigating. In a landmark moment for Tesla and the global automotive industry, Elon Musk has officially commended his team on the successful launch of the company's long-anticipated robo-taxi platform. On June 23, 2025, in Austin, Texas, Tesla quietly began offering fully driverless rides to a small, select group of users a moment that marks a bold step into the future of autonomous transportation. For over a decade, Musk has promised the dawn of robot-driven mobility, and while skeptics remain vocal, this launch appears to vindicate Tesla's long-term vision. Initial reviews of the robo-taxi rides have been overwhelmingly positive, with early riders praising the experience as smooth, comfortable, and remarkably responsive especially when navigating complex urban environments, avoiding pedestrians, and maneuvering through packed parking areas. The launch wasn't just about putting self-driving cars on the road, it also introduced a suite of digital innovations that elevate the user experience. At the core is the new Tesla RoboTaxi app, a thoughtfully designed interface that gives riders unprecedented control over their journey before they even step into the vehicle. Through the app, users can adjust the interior climate settings in advance, ensuring their ride arrives preconditioned to their comfort. Entertainment preferences can also be sensed in advance, meaning streaming services and media profiles load automatically, creating a personalized, immersive travel environment from the moment the doors unlock. Tesla's approach to the rollout is methodical and safety-focused. While the cars operate without drivers, Tesla has included a passive safety monitor in the passenger seat for these early rides. These monitors have no control over the car and are there strictly to observe the system's performance and assist in data collection for refinement. According to insiders, these monitors are largely redundant as the system has already demonstrated impressive levels of situational awareness, capable of identifying dynamic obstacles such as jaywalking pedestrians or unpredictable vehicles with remarkable precision. The successful launch of RoboTaxi represents the culmination of years of intensive development on Tesla's full self-driving FS2 software. Central to this effort was Musk's bold decision to pivot away from LiDAR and radar-based systems and commit fully to a vision-only approach. This decision sparked widespread controversy in the autonomous vehicle community, with many industry experts skeptical that vision alone could provide the redundancy and reliability needed for true autonomy. But Musk stood by the conviction that a camera-based system, backed by neural network training and massive fleet learning, would eventually outperform sensor-heavy alternatives, that conviction now appears justified. Tesla's success with RoboTaxi is not just technical, but symbolic. For years, critics labeled Musk's RoboTaxi timeline as wildly optimistic, even mocking the repeated delays and perceived over-promising. As recently as May 2025, several media outlets published articles calling the RoboTaxi launch a failure citing missed deadlines and regulatory hurdles. Tesla, however, maintained a quiet confidence, assuring that the rollout was always slated for mid-2025, and now, with hundreds of driverless rides already completed, without any serious issues or widespread complaints, Tesla's patience and perseverance seem to have paid off. Musk himself took to social media to celebrate the milestone, posting, it's truly an incredible accomplishment. Many called RoboTaxi a failure before it even began, but here we are. To the entire Tesla team thank you for believing in the vision. This message not only highlights Musk's characteristic defiance in the face of criticism, but also reflects the deep trust he places in his engineers and developers, many of whom have worked for years without seeing their efforts recognized publicly. What makes Tesla's RoboTaxi platform particularly noteworthy is its scalability. Unlike other autonomous ride-hailing initiatives that rely on heavily modified vehicles with roof-mounted sensors and limited operational areas, Tesla's approach is built entirely on its existing vehicle fleet. 
That means any Tesla equipped with the latest FS2 software and hardware could, in theory, be activated as a robo-taxi with a software update. This creates a massive, pre-installed base of potential autonomous vehicles, slashing infrastructure costs and vastly accelerating the path to widespread deployment. The economic implications are enormous. Tesla's autonomous ride-hailing network could eventually allow owners to add their vehicles to the robo-taxi fleet during idle hours, effectively turning personal vehicles into revenue-generating assets. For Tesla, this creates a powerful ecosystem where software, vehicle ownership, and mobility converge into one seamless platform. It also challenges the current model of ride-hailing companies like Uber and Lyft, who depend on human drivers and are now facing the very real possibility of obsolescence. From a regulatory perspective, Tesla's robo-taxi launch is being closely watched. While the initial rollout is limited to Austin under a special pilot program, Tesla is reportedly working with federal and local regulators to expand the service to other U.S. cities. The company has also developed its own internal safety protocols and fallback systems, designed to preemptively address the common concerns surrounding autonomous driving. In the months ahead, broader deployment will likely hinge on both continued flawless performance and increasing public trust. Tesla's journey to robo-taxi dominance hasn't been easy. There have been years of setbacks, firmware updates, and intense public scrutiny. The company's FSD beta program, which involved hundreds of thousands of users testing early versions of the software, was both praised for its ambition and criticized for its perceived risks. But these trials also generated the massive data Tesla needed to train its neural networks data. No other automaker could match at scale. Today, that investment in fleet learning and user-driven development is bearing fruit, Looking forward, Tesla's robo-taxi platform could have sweeping consequences beyond ride-hailing. Urban planning, public transportation funding, and insurance industries will all need to adapt to a world where cars don't need drivers. It could mean fewer vehicles on the road overall, as shared autonomous fleets become more efficient than private car ownership. Or, it could lead to a proliferation of cheap, driverless travel, with city streets seeing more traffic than ever before. In either case, Tesla has planted its flag early in this new territory. In a world where most companies follow trends, Tesla continues to set them. The successful launch of RoboTaxi proves that Musk's vision for autonomous transportation wasn't just hyperbole, it was a carefully timed evolution of one of the most disruptive technologies of the 21st century. As more users climb into the passenger seats of these autonomous vehicles and experience the future firsthand, one thing becomes increasingly clear. The age of the driverless car is no longer a concept. It's a reality, and Tesla is leading the charge. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love hearing your thoughts and insights, so don't forget to share your comments and feedback in the comment section below. Your engagement means a lot to us, and it keeps the conversation going. If you enjoyed today's content and want to stay updated with the latest news, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss out on any future updates.